The Michigan mom charged after her son shot and killed four students at her high school. Prosecutors showed new body cam video of her arrest, and Trevor Alt has the story. This morning, the prosecution expected to call their final witnesses in the trial of Jennifer Crumbly. Jurors hearing this crucial call, which led police to her and her husband. The parents of the shooter that are running away that are here. After the couple failed to show for their arraignment, U.S. Marshals launched a manhunt, finding them some 40 miles away in a commercial building. This police body cam video showing the moment James Crumbly was taken into custody, Jennifer nearby. Jennifer's defense attorney argues the couple only left home because of death threats, but were planning to turn themselves in. But prosecutors also produced Facebook messages Jennifer Crumbly sent and then deleted, where she wrote, the shooter's life is over. I need to focus on saving ours. And we're on the run again. Helicopters, not sure where to. She sent those messages to Brian Maloach, with whom she had an affair. Maloach testifying on multiple occasions, Jennifer Crumbly left work to meet him. Even though she allegedly told school officials the morning of the shooting, she couldn't take her son home because she needed to return to work. Did she ever tell you um, that she didn't have to be at a meeting later in the day on November the 30th, 2021? Mm, no. In fact, she was able to leave work to meet you when it pleased her. Yes. And the judge did specify Jennifer Crumbly is not on trial simply for being immoral. Once the prosecution rests their case, she's expected to take the stand in her own defense. Guys, we will see what happens, Trevor. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.